As many of you know, I teach a course in personal energy management. And it's an eight hour course. And uh, I've taught hundreds and hundreds of people about personal and managing their personal energy. And we talk about passion. And we talk about winning. And we talk about success. And we talk about positive thinking. But do they want to talk about that stuff? This is what they want to talk about. They want to talk about the vampires. They want to talk about the energy bandits. They want to talk about the people who can suck the oxygen right out of a room the minute they walk in. They want to talk about the people who will ruin corporations, lives, marriages. That's who they want to talk about. So today, for you, that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, the energy vampires. And we're going to talk about what you do with them, because that's the big concern. Now, uh, in order to understand this, first of all, you have to learn a couple things about energy that are my personal axes to grind, and then a little bit about how vampires suck, and also how to stop them in terms of your life. So, uh, first thing is that uh, this idea of time management. Now, I'm not saying that time management is wrong or bad. Time management is just fine. It just hasn't lived up to its promise, that's all. It doesn't do all these wonderful things. Okay. Think about it. Oh, you know the secret of Mother Teresa? Clean desk. And Abraham Lincoln had a great file system. All right. No, okay. I mean, maybe, but not enough. What you need to do takes juice. It takes energy. That's what's important. And the energy crisis in this country is really in there and in here and not so much at the gas pump. Right. So what really matters, what really matters is this idea of about energy. How do you manage your personal energy? So. Um, here's what I tell people. Well, you know, uh, you got four buckets, and the champions, whether they're in business or in sports or football or anything else, they can draw juice from all four buckets. And everybody says, yeah, 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 I know, but tell me about the vampires. And now the vampires are good at sucking the juice out of these buckets, too. But they're especially good at this one and this one emotional and spiritual energy, which happen to be two of the deepest buckets that we've got. Those are two of the biggest sources. So it's very important, therefore, in order to be able to spot a vampire fast. So <clears throat> here's how you do it. <clears throat> you just remember fast. First of all, fear. Uh, vampires are very scary, and they're usually afraid. Um, being a vampire is usually about being afraid. That's the fundamental inherent motivation, okay? And because they're afraid, they tend to avoid certain things like risk, blame, change, sunlight. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> think about it. Yeah, same thing, right? Okay. Uh, um, they also say the N word. No, negative comments, sometimes nothing. Not me, okay. Uh, so, and they think it can't be done. And do you know why it can't be done? There's not enough time. That's why it can't be done. There's not enough time. And that's why vampires live forever, because there will never be enough time for a vampire, okay? Now, so how do you deal with this? Well, there's a proven strategy. Steak. <laughs> and I don't mean the thick, juicy kind. Okay? Um, so uh, what do you think? Well, the first thing that I recommend to people is, if you're dealing with a vampire, speak energy to them. Speak energy to them. Normally, uh, the vocabulary that we share with vampires are very similar to the example that was given a couple of minutes ago about what you say to someone who almost cuts you off in traffic. All right. It's usually anatomical in nature, okay? But w what I'm saying is here, if you tell someone, you know, by doing the Blackberry prayer for the whole meeting, you know, everybody knew you weren't paying attention, and that sucked the juice out of the meeting. It was bad for you to come late. It was bad for you to make those negative comments. Those sort of things took away our energy. Did you want to do that? And most vampires will say, 
I did. Uh, so just talking energy to them can be a great strategy. Just speak energy. Now, then take away the perverse incentives. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, many organizations, because of their culture and sometimes because of their rules, actually create incentives for people to be vampires. They create incentives that push people into the kind of behavior that we're trying to avoid here. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can acquire energy buddies. So if you have to deal with a vampire, surround yourself with a few people who contribute juice, who bring energy to the party. Sometimes it's contagious in really good ways. All right? uh, kill them with kindness is one of my favorite things. All right? Nice goes a long way. Nice goes a long way. Right? Um, but in the final analysis, as a last resort, Sometimes. <laughs> now, I, I know you're saying, I know you're saying, I can't do that. In which case, who's the energy vampire? So, thank you all very much. Don't let them bite you. <laughs>